max length parameter is not the only parameter that we can pass to our model. There are, again, a lot of different field options here. And you can also find it in reference. A lot of this is actually very self-explanatory. Well, for example, there is new and new option if enabled. So if we say that, sorry, if we say that new equals true, that means that we can create a object of the user class and we can define a first name of this object as new. And there is actually a different uh, but very similar option, which is blank. And if you define blank as true, and you can also find all of this information in the reference, if you define blank option as true, then we can just, uh, we can define this first name field as empty field, uh, which is different from null. We can create some field that will take any value from the choices that we will give. Uh, we can define gender as a chart field But, first of all, uh, uh, let's define the max length as 1. I will explain later why. And then we can actually provide choices. As, for example, gender choices. And then let's actually define this gender choices which will be, for example, well, mostly M, which will be male, then F as a female, and let's define O as other. This field can be defined as one of three choices, and we will use actually the first uh, string, which means that our code uh, will look something like u equals user first name. Well, we can actually leave it as blank, right? Second name, doe, and gender will be. male, for example. So there are different uh, options, some other options, for example, again, we can define default value here as doe, for example, and a lot, a lot more. Again, you can go through all of them and, you know, just, just remember, maybe you will need something. From here. I think it doesn't make sense to go through each of them right now. I think it's very easy to understand all of these choices, all of these options by yourself. We already defined our application in the settings and now as we actually created the model we have to enable it. Also one more thing to mention is that um, I already define, I already define this model, and I already, uh, and this database table is already inside the database. So when I change this model, I should also provide the default options for the new fields. For example, my model only included first name and second name, and there are already users in the database and now we change the database table we add a new field 
gender field and we need to provide provide the default value for that uh, th this is the one option to actually solve this problem the other option to provide to provide new true and basically when we modify this model inside the database all the genders of the already existing users will be new so okay it doesn't matter if we created this model for the first time or we changed that but we all always need to migrate for that uh, we use this keyword make migrations and uh, we'll actually see information about what have been changed or what have been added and then we actually migrate and basically that's it now the model is in database and i just wanted to add a few more things about some important options and one of them is a verbose name and you can specify it like like that or you can specify it using the keyword verbose name so um, what it means well when we will have some kind of form where we will be able to input first name second name and all the other fields Django will automatically specify first name as first name but for example if we need some other name we can change it using verbose option uh, for example in our admin panel right now if we want to add user uh, we see that the Django automatically uh, selects the name, the verbose name for uh, our field. And we can actually specify the other name, like, I don't know, let's just say first, for example. And now uh, let's migrate. I'm lazy, so I will just. do that migrate okay so we migrated and let's refresh the page and we see that the verbose name is not assigned automatically right now but actually using the uh, name that we provided and we can also specify it like that and I just found out that we uh, we don't actually need to migrate for this kind of changes. Um, we need to migrate only if we actually add uh, new fields or new models. So yeah, uh, we can specify the verbose names by ourselves. And one more thing that I uh, wanted to tell you is about one more option which is primary key so for example as I said in our database uh, right now we have a table which is models guide user and it has ID which is the primary key of the model and then we have other options like first name and things like that so again this id is assigned automatically by django but we can change it and we can for example add email and say that primary key is true so in this case we will not have id here as a primary key but we will have email well I will not go into details about uh, 
what is primary key and uh, you know what restrictions are there it's not really the topic of Django it's more a topic of uh, databases so I will just migrate we are trying to add new okay okay and let's migrate and now let's go to admin page and now we have email right and let's try to add one more email and this email already exists so even though we didn't specify that this field should be unique we didn't specify that but as this field is a primary key then the field of course should be unique because primary key should be unique 